Have you noticed that the first temptation that came to Adam that threw the world upside down was food? The devil didn't come with any temptation. There was no money. There was no power anywhere. It was food the enemy brought. And he said, did God say you shouldn't eat? Why food? Because the enemy knows that if you can't control your mouth, your appetite, your stomach, then he can take over your life. Adam lost the entire garden, the entire authority he had because of food. So that's why Jesus says, this particular one can also go out by prayer and fasting. Because you lost it by eating, now you can regain it by fasting. You lost dominion because of food. You can regain dominion now by fasting. There are people that discover in their lives that things are not moving. And this particular issue keeps recurring. There are people that have this particular type of dream. Maybe they see someone chasing them. If they are close to a breakthrough, they see this, they see that. They are being molested. Some of them are being molested in their dreams. You see somebody coming to sleep with you. That's an embarrassment on you. I cannot just come and say, come out. No. That's what they, if it keeps happening, then prayer and fasting. And when you fast, at that moment, because some of you will say, I've been fasting. I'm showing you the kind of fast you should fast. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. People fast, but they don't feed their spirit. This kind does not go out, but by prayer and fasting. So, man shall not live by bread alone. When you are on this kind of fast, what you need to do is to load your spirit with the word of God. But some people do hunger strike. They are just moving about. No prayer, no reading of the word. They are just on a hunger strike. And you are wondering what is going on. They say, but I have been fasting. But God is saying, you have, no, you've been fasting, but what have you been eating? Man shall not live by bread alone. You put bread aside. You put food aside. Then what did you eat? So when you are on this kind of fasting, there must be a time for prayer. Some people, they just realize that it's evening and they, they look for food to break it. Ah, wow, it's six o'clock. Woo! Father, we thank you. I know you've answered my prayer. Which prayer? Did you pray any prayer? Are you getting what I'm saying? Because in heaven, they're wondering, ah, so you said you fasted today? Wow. We thought you were just waiting to eat. Because if you were fasting, then you would have, you would have loaded your spirit. But we saw you here. You didn't eat, but you didn't eat. You didn't eat, yet you didn't eat. You didn't eat food, yet you didn't eat the word of God. So how come? What, what, what did you do today? You fasted food and you fasted the word of God. And that's why after fasting, when you sleep, you are attacked at night again. So, but I finished fasting yesterday. And God is saying, you are empty. No, no weapon around you. You were not loaded. And that's why even after fasting, you see a demon trying to pursue you. And you're wondering what is going on. You see a man trying to sleep with you. A woman trying to sleep with you in your dream. Why? It's because you fasted, but you were empty. You didn't load yourself with the scriptures. That's why some people will fast. The problem will continue. That's what I encourage people. If you are into fasting, if your house is too busy, come to the church. Lie down on the altar. Come and spend at least an hour. Open the book of Psalms and begin to confess it to yourself. Pray with it and tell yourself, no, a change is coming. If you don't have a room, you can just close yourself you know, in. Find a church. Find a place where you can just come and say, come to church. Sit down and seek the face of God. Who is Joseph? I, I am Joseph. Your name is what? Joseph. Jesus. Jesus. Somebody, hey. Professor. Do I know you? No, sir. This is my first time of coming here. And I call your name. Yes, the Lord said I should tell you there is a call of God on your life. Amen. I saw someone out there removing something like a uniform. I'm a uniform personnel. You are a uniform personnel? Yes. Celebrate Jesus. What do you do? I work with Federal Fire Service. Yes, sir. Come on, celebrate Jesus, somebody. Jesus. Professor. The Lord said I should tell you there is a call on your life. You will represent Jesus where you go. Amen. I saw a family the enemy has tried to scatter. Yes, Lord. But the Lord is gathering the family together. Amen. So your name is Joseph? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Take. Yes, sir.